recent spam campaigns have the look of legitimate news organizations, but even though the messages bear the names of CNN, MSNBC, and the BBC, UAB computer forensic expert Gary Warner says don't be fooled. While some spam messages are intended to advertise a product or get you to buy something, the purpose of this spam is purely to infect you with a virus. When you click on this email, the bad guy takes control of your computer. He can then use your computer to send spam messages to other people. He can cause pop-ups to appear on your machine. In this case, the pop-ups tend to be from a fake antivirus company. They ask you to buy their antivirus product after scanning your computer to tell you that you have an infection. The criminals behind the spam campaigns try and imitate the news feeds that you subscribe to. Gary Warner and his team use UAB data mining to collect spam emails and look for things that would be useful to law enforcement and computer security officials. Every time you type on a web page after you become infected with this virus, everything you type is being sent to the criminal. Think about what you type on web pages, your bank account information, your user ID and password for your email system, your uh, credit card number if you're buying a product or a service online. All of that information is being sent to the criminal and all it took to get this process started is clicking on one news email. What you should do if you get the CNN email and you wonder if that's a real news story, go to your browser, type in www.cnn.com. If it's a real breaking story, you'll be able to find it easily enough without clicking on the link in your email. Mm -hmm.